Hello everyone, this is Heyrotlinia. Welcome back to my playthrough of Dragon Quest VII, Fragments of the Forgotten Past, for the 3DS. Previously, the party got their abilities stolen, they got dropped into Pilgrim's Perdition, and they got up by the local and they got beat up by the local tough, Strom. Fingers, fingers proposal. With the Thief Fingers, they'll be heading to the Western Cave, hopefully to find a way back to All Trades Abbey. And Fingers gave them the Salvation Stone. Very helpful. Free heals in battle. the cave I'm talking about, over to the west of the town. Let's get a wriggle on, shall we? Alright. So, let's leave town, and head west. I don't know what Fingers is planning, but let's go along with it for now. I can't think of any better ideas. Word to the wise, there's a pair of the Larius Glouts you're ever likely to lay eyes upon over in that cave. But don't you worry your pretty little heads about them. Your old mate Fingers will show you how to give them the slip. I bet you will. Davalos, do you really think Fingers can be trusted? He makes his living from stealing other people's things, after all. I've just got this sneaking suspicion that this plan of, that this plan of his isn't going to work out well for us. Well, we shall see, Maribel. Hey there, Cat Mage. A Clawser and a Slime Knight. Fingers helped out in battle. Salvation Stone. Nighty Night Slime Knight. Now then into the Western Cave. Wait, aren't we ever going to be able to get our skills back? But, but we worked so hard to learn them. They can't all be gone just like that, can they? You'll want to watch it when we get up a bit higher. There's a pair of big bad bruises blocking the exit. But don't worry, your old mate Fingers will show you how to give them a slip. Do these caves really lead all the way to Ultrades Abbey? What? You call on me a liar or something? On me honor as a thief and a gentleman? If this ain't the way to All Trades Abbey, then me name ain't Fingers. Now we have Praying Mantises. Nighty night. Hello, ulcers. Time for Betty Bye. Then time to die. Nothing that way. Oh, 
What's up, enemies? A mud mannequin and a kisser. Nighty night. Anything up the stairway? Nope. Another ulcer and a praying mantis. Farewell, foes. To the north, past the smuck, then upstairs. More praying mantises. Nighty night. And Rough reaches level fifteen. Congrats, Rough, level fifteen. Continuing on... Nothing there. How about up this rise? An armored scorpion. Goodbye, enemies. An armored scorpion for Monster Meadows. Hello, mud mannequins. So long. Nothing there. Hello, disgusting. Well, thank you.
up the stairway. Well, who's this? A forky pig. <laughs> the viet, the viet, but that's all, folks. Another one, with a closer and an ulcer. So long, enemies. Anything down here? What's up, praying mantises? So long. What's up, kitty? And a couple of forky pigs. Farewell, foes. Let's see... Anything up this stairway? Besides enemies... Goodbye, enemies. Downstairs again. That just loops around. Some more ulcers. Nighty night ulcers. Now, west through this muck to this staircase. We've gone down a level.
we'll go back up. To another part of the floor. Hello there. An ulcer and 4K pigs. Defending, eh? Nighty night. Goodbye, Forky Pigs. More of them with an ulcer. Goodbye, enemies. Up the staircase. Sorry, kitty. Uh-oh. Here, not so fast. There's a couple of real nasty pieces of work just up ahead. If we go charging on in without thinking, they're gonna tear us to shreds. We need to think smart. You just leave this to your old pal fingers. Yes. And we might want to hide. What was that? Oh dear. Oh, it was you, was it? Noisy little blighters. Not that we aren't happy to see you, of course. This'll be the perfect this'll be the perfect chance to try out the new powers Cardinal Sin gave us. Hey, I just saw another one. Over there. Bah leave it. Why run for a bite when there's a feast sitting right in front of you? There'll be time for that one later. Heh, you're right. We'll save that other one for an after-dinner treat. So now we have to fight Ratchers and Stripes. Unfortunately, this is unwinnable. Nasty. The party are wiped out again. Wonderful. Just wait a just wait until I get my fingers on that fingers. Hello, Nava. Up and about already? Well, I hope you're not too sore. I was awfully worried when the priest told me you'd been carried back to town with serious injuries. 
I thought it was best that you rest up here until you were back on your feet. Anyway, it's late now, so you should get some rest. Sleep well. Thank you, Nava. Ugh, that low-down, dirty, rotten, stinking, cheating thief was just using us as a diversion. I told you we shouldn't have let him come with us. This town can't be all bad if there are nice people like Nava living in it. Finger's Betrayal The gang reached the cave, where they're greeted by a pair of truly grisly monsters. Without spells or abilities to aid them, there's no way they can take these terrors on. Fortunately, Fingers has a plan. Less fortunately, the plan involves our heroes acting as decoys while he sneaks away undetected. Yes, such a jerk. Hello, you two. Sis, can I have a word? In private? Oh, don't be so secretive. There's nothing we can't talk about right here. Er, I think you'll find there is. I'm not talking to you with this lot hanging round like a bad smell. Bah, you're a stubborn so-and-so, aren't you? I'm sorry about this. We'll go, upsta we'll go upstairs. Make yourselves at home, okay? This is no time to be making small talk, Davalos. Let's go upstairs and listen in on Nava and Zeb. Why did they have to go upstairs? What do you think they're talking about? A word in private. Thanks to Finger's treachery, our heroes are beaten black and blue by the monsters. Luckily, Nava comes to the rescue once again. But then Zev appears, and asks for a word with her in private. It's just some stupid medicine. I could have got hold of that for you. I don't want to see you fluttering your eyelashes at that show-off again. You don't owe him anything. Fluttering my eyelashes? I don't know what you're talking about. You've got this all wrong. Eustace is a gentleman, and he's helping us out, and he's helping us out of the goodness of his heart. There's nothing more to it than that. If you believe that, you're even more gullible than I thought. It's obvious he's got the hots for you. M the hots? Eustace is an honorable man. You shouldn't talk him. You shouldn't talk about him like that. What does it matter to you how I talk about him? Why are you, def why are you defending him? We were fine when it was just the two of us. We don't need anyone else. Zev, 